Goldberg who fought earlier. It's a two-fight losing streak as we take this turn of attack for this coming event. Sponsored by Coop Farngrill. We have Sage Philippe as a 28 years old. He is 5 foot and 10 inches tall. A little over a limited 172 pounds. Bringing a 73 inch reach into the cage. And Marty Mabe is 28 years of age. 6 foot even. 170 on the nose. And he's got a 72 inch reach. A or 72 inch reach. Rather. In to Andy. Ladies and gentlemen of Public Memorial Hall, prepare yourselves for the cold main event of the evening. And a quick reminder to you all that the official Cage Titans 56 after party is being held at Tower Hall Wharf, directly across the street from the back of the building you are all currently in. And now on to our cold main event, a professional mixed martial arts contest taking place at the welterweight division, scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of one victory and three defeats. He stands five feet ten inches tall, and he weighed in at 172 pounds. From Springfield, Massachusetts, by way of Dorchester, Massachusetts, he's representing underground MMA, and with these boxing, make some noise for Raging Sage. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, holding a professional mixed martial arts record of five victories and two defeats. He stands six feet tall, and he weighed in at 170 pounds. From Middleborough, Massachusetts, he's representing the Lose of MMA. Let's hear it for Marty the Beast. The Cage Titans 56 underway, Raging Sage Philippe in the short black trunks, Marty Davis in the blue venom shorts. Julian Rose gets him set, and they're both squaring off right in the middle. Low kick, oh, beautiful by Marty, who's trying to go in and swing for the kill already after landing some big hands. They're both swinging in a foul booth. Nice check hook from Philippe. Oh, my goodness, Robert. Philippe's landing in the pocket here, too. Is Marty closed the distance with the flying knee that looked to land. And they're right in front of us, clinching up. Marty with the underhooks. Look at this. this snake that leg out from behind. Oh, but the reversal. Mm -hmm. Very gritty in the clinch, like I said, is Sage Philippe, who's willing to dance in this position all day and try to separate and throw. Nice lead for Philippe. Nice right hand over the top from both men. Marty really trying to find a hole for that right hand. Oh my god! Oh, a swing! Oh, wow! Are oh, you locking your hands together though? I think he gets to take the block oh, to leap back up to the feet very quick. They just were rocking the first robot. Yeah, those exchanges are amazing. Both guys landing some heavy leather in those exchanges. Short hooks with the leap and Marty landing that right hand on the pipe. Looking for the knee on the way up, Philippe manages to get there, but it's way right too late. after. The, the way Marty he just kind of put his head down a couple times and just could break down on his mouth guard. Look at that, they want to get the clinch. Oh, they wanted to brawl, and brawl they are. I talked to Marty yesterday, he said he was so excited to be back in the cage, and it's just showing, you can see it. Oh, hey, the energy is cool. amazing. Nice right hand from Philippe. Philippe's nice got the water there, going for it. Philippe's landed a lot of short punches in these exchanges as well. He's been on even terms with nice. Marty with the hands, Marty with the kicks, however, Philippe had a bit that stumped his back there. Marty landed a nice 2-3, and Philippe landed a punch at the same time that backed Marty up. These guys are landing at identical moments in time. It's really tough to keep up. To the up. single there, that was nicely done. Used the leg to pull up his opponent's leg, then turned it into a single. Pressing in, looking to ankle pick the other leg, locks the hands together. And it looks like he's going. There it is. Great. Right in front of his corner, too. Marty Mavis scores the two. Philippe has been getting onto a 
hip and onto a hand ASAP as soon as he lands. Nice jab from Marty. Nice left hook from Philippe as Marty's coming in, though. Marty's straight right to his best tour, I think, right now. I'd love to see a fake into that straight right. Fakes before that lands on that. Mm. Disguising him with the jab that time. High level mixed martial arts right here. Nice right hand from Marty. I like seeing Marty with these kicks. I feel like that's a new element to his game. I'm seeing him kick a lot more than usual. But his hands are always, always a threat. The weak is just landed as heavy. Oh, nice little kick from Philippe there on the counter. But Marty's landed some big shots at Philippe. Philippe has been a good, done a good job of taking him on the hands and moving his head. He's landed some nice counters as well. They're both wow. reaching each other, but also defending very nicely. Yeah. And then Marty's consistently putting effort into this clinch and strong little chippy takedowns yeah. and control time throughout all these wild exchanges. This really is a good him. one because he's got his leg like, between his opponent and the cage which yeah. makes a big difference preventing Philly from getting back up. And he's looking for an opportunity he to wash right that wrist. Yeah. He's trying to get that right hand free. Or you could switch maybe. I'm impressed by how diligent Philippe is about posting the hand and getting up on the hip. A lot of people forget about the hand and that's why they get stuck. Yeah, Philippe, when I was watching his tape, he's, he, he's patient in these exchanges when he's getting control, but he always seems to find a way out and more often than not throws when they separate. Marty, but Marty doing a good job in, in implementing control here. He's very methodical in how he's advanced his control. Having fun in there too. Love to see it. Done a great job inching behind him. Because prior to this, Philippe has been able to keep his back to the cage. Preventing that full back take. Oh, he's under the chin. Naked. Right into the hands. Philippe able to dig his chin back down. Doesn't have two hooks in, but Marty's got a squeeze, and he's got that like Habib versus corner angle. If he can get a third come on his back, his hands aren't classical, so it looks like Philippe is okay here, just dealing with some uncomfortableness. Back to that wrist ride again. seconds out at this point. Philippe just holding on to survive here. Probably knows he's down around. We're going to see him second out for the first time in this main card, it looks like. Nice elbow. Mm. Round one in the books, and what a scrap it's been. These guys are throwing in a phone booth, and when the exchanges heat up in tight, these, you can hear the thuds of both guys landing at the same time. Tough to see who's getting the better of these exchanges, but the differentiator in that round is the control time for Marty, in my opinion. Left the takedowns, the clinch work, that's what you could really see, and then the back control there. Or... I would say that Philippe managed to stagger Marty back a bit more than the opposite, but Marty definitely came ahead with his repeated takedowns, ground and pound and control in that round. And I'm not to take anything away from Marty, because I think Marty landed some good shots and might have stopped Philippe in his trap as well. They were both landing at the same time, and, and it might have not been as immediate of an impact of backing up, but Marty landed some good shots. So Philippe backed up in and had to come back for, and then in those exchanges, would it look like Marty was landing two or three? Philippe would land the one that would stop the exchange. Kind of even it almost. Kind of stagger Marty to make him stop and go into the clinch. Oh, they both landed, that's for sure. It, apparently, high pace, both guys are landing. It's really tough to go who's winning with the cat here. Marty being longer, I'd like for him to maybe yeah. keep the uh, distance a little better. Still have those exchanges, but in his range, mm. not. That's yeah. what he's saying. It's just phone booth, two threes. Going to roll from these two savages. They touch him up as they get ready. This is the fight they both wanted. Oh, it's the fight that the fans like, too. That's mm. really good. People like that. Marty putting on a combination, but Philippe's staying dangerous and landing a couple strikes in there of his own. Philippe is proving to be a great challenge for Marty, but this is peak Marty Mavis when he just mauls. He comes at it from all angles, threatening with the wrestling, the strikes, a little bit of everything. I love to see it. The dirty boxing, suffocating with pressure. But Philippe staying tough and landing plenty of shots of his own. He tried checking that one, but took that kick low on the cap. Uh, yep. Both when it turns the leg like that, it usually hurts. Oh, and the kicks, yeah, Marty's been throwing a lot of kicks. I, I like it. It's a new element to his game. Nice jab. Oh, nice right hand from Marty. Mm, as he yep. says, 
said, Johnny, him Sweat using sweater. his own range is really making yeah. a difference in this round, staying at the end of his punches. Philippe, 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 Philippe. Philippe. Yeah, you made a miss in pay. Nice jab to the body return from Philippe. Both guys landing. Yeah, Philippe one and three, but he's got a tough string of competition that he's faced, and he's tough to put away. And he's always in the fight. Martin Davis might be coming away with the strikes here, but you'll see that Philippe with a nice jab yeah. back. And across. Yeah, he's in it in game. Yeah, very, I would say it's a very even exchange with the strikes so far, but again, when Marty mixes it up with his, with his takedowns and the dirty boxing. Although now Philippe pushing Marty to the cage. Yeah, interesting. Philippe might have landed an elbow in the left hand there. It didn't freeze Marty up, but definitely changed the position. He had some nice head movement right before that too, that we haven't seen a ton of. This is where the judges start to forget the first half of the round. <laughs> yeah, five minutes is a long attention span sometimes. <laughs> I like that frame that used to yeah. reverse that. Beautiful. Oh. And the tide's turning in. I like that elbow on the break. He missed it. It was, it was dangerous. Beautiful. And then he landed a right hand after he missed that elbow, though. So he's following up and throwing combos off the break as Marty. But safe to leave. Oh, nice, nice job. Me too. Marty's bringing in a lot of new tools to this fight. I, I'm really liking this. <laughs> Good left hand from Philippe landed there. Uh, Marty finds himself backed up against the cage again. They've proven to be a, a great opponent for each other. I feel like they're bringing out the best in each other, really allowing each other to showcase the full range of their abilities. And it's, uh, this fight can be defined by one word, grind. Mm. It's been quite a grind. And in all facets, too. Stand up, cage work, on the ground in the first round. If you're a true MMA fan, you're having a good time right now watching this fight. Mm, with a minute left, it's, someone's going to have to really differentiate themselves. This has been very uh, well contested throughout the second round. Yeah, it hasn't quite gone to the ground yet. Just taking place in this clinch primarily. Both guys landing good strikes. Marty getting on for some tricks. Sage pretty comfortable just staying here. Yeah. Doing a good job pummeling uh, this under, time. Sage. Philippe has been, yeah, he's been staying ahead of the of the grips this time. Whereas in the last time Marty was able to establish grips pretty dominantly, which led to those takedowns. This time Philippe has been very diligent in controlling the action in the clinch because of that. Marty digging for another underhook, trying to reverse, but good job from Philippe nullifying or uh, mitigating that. I'd like to see Marty work towards his right and then shift left again like he did last time. Looks like he's maybe trying to set it up. Oop, on the hook. Yeah, Marty finding a home for some short knees in this exchange. Philippe kind of just leaning there for that last 45 seconds, not producing too much offense. And control is a tertiary measure of scoring a round. So we'll see what that 45 seconds will do in terms of swaying the scoring of that. Because that was a really totally contested round. I think round one was fair to say it went to Marty because of that down the whole time. And then this one was a little bit more contested with some uh, gray areas of who you would lean towards. Hot take, I would actually say that I perceive Sage Philly to be having slightly more effective striking. And with that game control, I would probably by a very narrow margin edge in this round, whereas Marty very, you know, clearly won the first. 
this uh, third round is going to absolutely be a deciding factor. And this, obviously, this brings up the question of what would uh, open scoring be like in a situation like this where you could guarantee that Marty's ahead, uh, where if all three judges like have a two to none, then uh, Sage Leap's got to go for a finish. But I would if there's two judges that have a one to one and one that has a two to none, now both guys need to go for both because if one guy coasts, they give up the decision. So, yeah. Yep. This is um, a good argument right there. Could be anybody's fight, depending on how that second round was scored. I think you make a good point that at this uh, at this time they both have to act as if it's one one yep. and really come ahead in this third round. Definitely, it would be a mistake for either Hardy now to think that he's ahead two nothing. And, and Marty's already trying to disguise power shots behind that jab. So. Yeah. And Marty's not that type of fighter either. He's gonna go. Nice right that right again. A little fake. He's been faking a lot too. He's so been I'm, faking and punching at range. Yeah. Marty's actually showing a lot of uh, interesting new tools. I, I liked the last round. Couple heavy like this. Yeah, per you, for what you had said. And the last time Marty established some really nice long straights on his opponent. I'd like yeah. to see him do that again. Safe for Luke is doing some work for that lead leg of Marty, but he might have chipped that last one and caught the top of the Ooh. floor for Luke. That person the level yeah. pretty hard. He's like four or five in the next round, and Marty just took a backward junior step. Philippe Mar seems to have figured out Marty's range a little bit and is picking apart with those leg kicks. Marty returned with a leg kick that time. Yeah, Marty's energy has diminished a little. I'd love to see him get on a leg or something. Look at Marty getting light on that lead leg. You can tell. Oh, nice left hook from Saints Philippe. Yeah, that left hand is really starting to land good. Consistently. <laughs> Watch Marty to start countering that leg kick with that right hand. It looks like he's trying to like crouch in and load up for it. Mm. Nice inside kick. I think this case plays to Philippe's strengths more. I think Marty bringing out more of the beast again mm. as he did in round one. It might be time to do that. Nice check from Marty. Yeah, this gives Philippe the ability to kind of see everything. Mm. Set up his shots. These guys have refrained from throwing in a phone booth this round thus far. Keeping it methodical, piecing together short combinations. What's interesting is in the last round, the range fight favored Marty. This round, for some reason, Philippe seems ever so slightly quicker to the point on that. And then the leg, the, oh, nice left hook from Marty. But uh, I think that the, the number of leg kicks that Felice landed are kind of differentiating this round because they're almost generating rea small reactions out of Marty. Yeah, Definitely. I'd say you're right. He checked the last one because of that. Mm. Jab might have bloodied the nose of Mavis up from Felice. Both are looking to be very defensively sound and avoiding the hands, but the leg kicks, as you said, have been scoring. Nice, nice one. Beautiful yeah. combo from Marty. Ooh. Left hand, left inside leg kick, two, three. Mm. Very creative. Adding to those new facets that we're seeing come to this game with this. Marty maybe just check the time. Yeah. I think the new facets are a good switch up, but we need some classic Marty the you know, Marty the Mahler. Yeah. This could this could be anybody's round and anybody's fight still at this point with uh, two minutes to go. This is the least grappling Marty has done thus far. Nice tip to the jab combo from Marty. And then staying diligent and attacking that lead leg is Sage Philippe. I wonder if Marty felt something in the clinch in the second round that he didn't like and doesn't want to go back to that. Neither of them really do. Nice combo from Philippe. With the minute 30 left, it would, I would say, as you, to your point earlier, Andy, I think that the, the leg kicks have really been the big differentiator. And I think it would behoove Marty to really make something happen now because you know he can. That's the thing he does very well when he really turns it up. Yeah, both of these men possess tremendous power. Marty's class is coming behind him right now. Philippe is looking at him. Yeah, Philippe is looking very Ooh. sharp in these exchanges. Very keen eye, sees the punch is coming, and is it, starting to come ahead of them. His intensity seems to be coming. Oh, he's never taken away. Good shot. And Marty's starting to land some explosive shots here late in the round. Yeah. He has to go for broke. Back Absolutely. Broke right now. He needs a big statement to finish this round. I think both guys could. You can make a case for these last two rounds for anybody, really. I would be surprised if 
Philippe was not ahead of his last two rounds thus far. But Marty can finish at a moment's notice. So with 30 seconds left, a flying knee. I'd like to see him open up right now. He might make us a little vulnerable, but now's the time. Nice left hook from Marty. Another left hook. Short left hook. Short left hook. That's the third one in a row that's landed for Marty. Nice combo from Felita coming through. Ten seconds left in this cold main event. Marty landing away. We want to leave with Tommy. Oh, hey. Jumping kick from Marty. They're bringing it in. Whoa. Oh. No, they're hugging. They're hugging it out. The friends now. It's all, it's all love. It's all love. They like hey scrapping. Hey, look at the, look at these guys. They're savages. Even when they're grateful for for fighting and they're and they're embracing in a moment of camaraderie, they're still intense and wild. Yeah. <laughs> the referee and the commissioner, they're all thinking they're gonna break it. That's how they express no, kindness. This is them. This is them, actually. This is brawl. That was a great brawl for the main event. But what? Like, round one dip, definite for Marty. Two and three. To make a case either way, it's going to be very interesting on these four cards. But a brawl nonetheless, entertaining co main event, high level mixed martial arts from these veterans. Some of the highest. Great skill shown. I, I like seeing these new elements of Marty's game. I think it has rounds them out and brings in, uh, you know, a more multi pass with the rat. I do think, though, that in the later rounds, Felipe did pull away with these exchanges. Yeah. But then just his body language in the third round showed that he was taking over. And uh, Marty was doing more backing up. He refused to shoot the takedowns. It just seemed like Sage was kind of dictating at that point. I'd be inclined to agree. I think sometimes when you have those new elements, it can, you might fall into them a bit too much away yeah. from your bread and butter. Definitely. Well, hey, that was a fun one. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm amazed. I'll be... I'm super excited to see how they did score that second mm -hmm. round. This is going to be fascinating. Because it was a very good fight. I do want to say that Sage won the third round so as much as Marty won the first. Mm -hmm. So that second is kind of subjective. That's where it comes down to the judges' opinion. Let's go find out. The judges have rendered the decision. Judge Alan Lau scores this contest, 29-28, for Sage Philippe. And Judge Steve Rita scores this contest, 29-28, for your winner, by split decision, Marty the Beast Nick.